Hi, I uh, hope you're doing well. Um, so today I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, I obviously prefer to teach um, yoga sculpts, so yoga with weights, but um, not everyone has done that before or has done yoga before. And um, this class is a very um, beginner sequence of yoga that introduces you to all the postures, um, really breaks them down so you feel really prepared to try um, more yoga moving forward or um, trying yoga sculpt. Um, yoga sculpt will definitely be a lot different pace, but um, this sequence will really break all of those postures down that you'll see in yoga sculpt and it'll just make you feel really strong, really prepared um, for moving on with your yoga practice. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make this for anyone who is new to the yoga practice and um, I think this is a really fantastic sequence, um, really well broken down um, to introduce you to yoga. So um, it'll be a little bit of a longer video, um, probably a little bit over an hour. Um, it's a great sequence um, to try, even if you're an advanced yoga student, um, just a good way to mix up your routine and of course a great introductory class. So um, I'll play some music in the background. Um, it'll be a little soft just so you can hear my um, instructions, but um, I'll share the playlist at the bottom of the video um, if you want to use it while you're doing this class. Um, you might be able to hear it well, but um, all right, here we go. So we'll start an extended child's pose like we do in every other class. Um, so you'll bring your big toes to touch. Um, spread your knees mat width distance apart, rest your forehead down, and stretch your fingers towards the front of your space. Um, I'll do most of this with you and really break it down. So um, if you've never done child's pose before, so your big toes will be at the back of your mat. Knees uh, mat width distance apart, or um, just as comfortable as your hips can go. Stretch your fingertips towards the front of your space. Um, rest your forehead down on the floor and just kind of relax your body. So relax your shoulders down your back. And I'm just start to settle in, start to slow down. And just start to find a pace of breath that feels really good for you. And yeah, just start to slow down. Just settle into your child's pose. Okay, and relax your shoulders down your back. Really press into the palms of your hands. And just find a pace of breath that feels good. So let's breathe together. Exhale all the air from your lungs. Take a big inhale through your nose, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let that go. Nice job, do one more just like that. Take a big, full breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. All right, nice job. Now um, just let that breath um, be very um, genuine to what your breath needs and is today. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on in the world today. So um, yoga is a really good place to come to, to kind of find some calm um, in your daily um, routine that you're doing right now. Um, um, so yeah, just kind of focus on your breath, notice how it is, and um, honor that as you do move through this practice. Let your breath just uh, guide you and let you know how your body needs to move the next 60 minutes of this flow. And um, so you are more than welcome to use this open mouth exhale that we just did through the next 60 minutes of this class, but I will tell you to engage your uh, ujjayi pranayama, so close mouth, exhale. So you'll breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. This breath will uh, build heat through your body. Um, it'll be a little bit of a texturized breath, so we'll, um, we'll start that now. So seal your lips, take a full breath in through your nose, and exhale through your nose, feel a little bit of texture at the back of your throat. Nice job, do one more just like that, full breath in through your nose. Uh, exhale through your nose. Nice job. Just keep that breath going just like that. Um, a few more things. Uh, this is your 60 minutes, so move at a pace that feels good for you. Listen to my cues, but again, modify to what you need. Every body that does this workout is different, and you know your body better than I do, better than anyone with you knows. So um, just honor that, and um, go through this flow in a pace that feels good, in a way that feels good, and um, just lets you kind of enjoy the next 60 minutes. All right, we'll take two more breaths before we start to move. So exhale all the air from your lungs. Seal your lips, take a ujjayi breath in through your nose. Exhale through your nose. One more, just like that, full breath in. And a full breath out. Nice job. All right, we'll start to move on your inhale, shift forward to tabletop. So if you look at the camera, tabletop pose. Uh, knees are hip-width distance apart. Hands are shoulder width distance apart. Now my back is really flat if you look. Shoulders right over um, your wrist. And I like to just start class with any organic movement. So anything that feels good, you can move your hips side to side. Just kind of let your body move wherever it needs to. You might notice some parts that are tight. Just move around. All 
All right, we'll come back to stillness. So come back to tabletop, stack your shoulders over your wrists and fill your knees. Put a little bend in your elbows. And then we'll do three rounds of cat and cow. So inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly towards the floor, look up to the ceiling. And then exhale, cat, you'll round your spine towards the ceiling, engage your core. Your, the goal is to hit your gaze to the back of the room. Nice job, we'll do two more just like that. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly, press the tops of your feet to the floor. And then exhale, cat, engage your core as you round your spine towards the ceiling. Nice job. Last one. Inhale, cow pose. Press the metal with your hands. Open your chest. Look really high up. And then exhale, cat. Engage your core. Round your spine. Gaze between your legs. Nice job. Now inhale, find a flat back tabletop pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. So first one, curl your toes. Uh, lift your legs off the floor. Push your hips towards the ceiling. Push into the palms of your hands. And move your hips up towards the ceiling. And first one here, so just move it around. So if you look at me, I have really tight hamstrings and pretty tight hips. So I need to bend my knees a lot. I'm not going to have that straight leg. Just focus on pressing your palms, pressing your thumb and your forefinger. And then you want to work on melting your chest towards your thighs. Again, still keep moving around. Notice what's tight. All right, then whenever you're ready, find some stillness in your down dog. Once you're still, look at your feet. Your feet should be hip width distance apart. Again, everyone's hips are different. So just get at a distance that feels good. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Bending your knees will just relieve some tension in your legs. And uh, that will help let your chest and your thighs as well. Really push into your palms. Relax your head and neck. Nice job. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. One more just like that. Full breath in. Ujjayi breath out through your nose. Nice job. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, ragdoll pose. So you'll step your feet behind your hands. Feet are going to be hip width distance apart. And um, grab opposite elbow opposite biceps. So if you look at me, you'll look like this from the front. Let your head hang really heavy. Um, again, if you have tight hamstrings, you might need to bend your knees a lot. Um, just keep your gaze behind you. You can find movement. This is a nice uh, low back stretch. Let it feel easy though. Don't let it feel hard. And opposite elbow, opposite bicep. And then if you want, switch your grip. So put the opposite forearm in front. Let your head hang heavy. Again, move side to side. Um, you want the weight more in your toes and in your heels uh, to get more of a stretch in your hamstrings. Nice job. Then whenever you're ready, release your hands to the floor. Toe heel your feet to touch. So your big toes come to touch, your heels come to touch. Put a large bend in your knees and then slowly come up to stand. Your head being the last to come up. Take your time. Press into your feet. Gaze comes up. Take a full breath in. Open mouth. Exhale. All right, so I'm going to heat. So bring your hands to heart center, palms together, blink your eyes closed. And I'm just taking a second here to observe um, how you're feeling today. Um, this is the place in class where we set an intention for the next 60 minutes. So um, whatever you need out of this for yourself today, um, just notice what that is right here. And um, let that be the intention of your workout the next 55 minutes, not 60. <laughs> All right, so whatever that is, make it genuine. Make it something that feels good to what you need. And um, see it in your mind's eye. We'll take two breaths together. So exhale all the air from your lungs. Take a big inhale through your nose. Fill up. See your intention. And take an open mouth exhale. Release some air. Nice job. Seal your lips. Take one ujjayi breath in. And breath out through your nose. Beautiful job. All right. We'll start to move. So blink your eyes open. Bring your hands to your side. We'll flow sun is what this is called. So inhale, mountain pose. You'll reach your arms to the ceiling and then hold here and breathe. So um, we'll start with your feet. So press into your heels and your big toes to fire up your legs. Engage your core to protect your back. And then with your arms, relax your shoulders down your back. Keep your chin off your chest, gaze forward. Turn your pinkies in towards each other. Awesome job. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, baby back bend. Go close your arms and pull your heart forward. Um, step your elbows at about shoulder height. Press in the back of your heels. Nice job. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach your arms back up. Relax your shoulders. Now exhale, forward fold. So bring your hands through heart center. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Your hands are going to come down to the floor. Now inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your shins, your thighs, and then hold here and breathe. So this is a good time to look at the screen. So again, like tabletop, my back is really flat. My hands are on my thighs because again, I have tight hamstrings. If you can, hands on your shins. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Your gaze stays really far out in front of you. And then act like my fingers in between your shoulder blades and you have to squeeze it. So lift your chest up. Beautiful job. Take a full breath in. 
Exhale, high, high low plank. So you're gonna plant your hands, step your feet back. Again, good time to watch here if you want. Shift your weight forward, bend your elbows straight back, step halfway, gaze forward. Inhale, upward facing dog, keep your legs off the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. Curl your toes, lift your hips straight up toward the ceiling. Take a full breath in, open mouth, exhale. Nice job, do one more, full breath in. Full breath out. Nice job, all right, take a second, come to your knees. Okay, so if you're like, what the heck <laughs> did you just say at the end there? Um, I get it. So I'll break it down for you. It's called Chaturanga, high to low plank. You'll do a lot of those within this class. There are fantastic options of other things to do instead of this. So I will do the full version. So you'll come from a high plank, okay? Your feet are hip distance apart, hand shoulder resistance apart, your body's in one straight line. So when I cue shot a rocket, you're gonna shift forward on your toes, gaze forward, bend your elbows straight towards the wall behind you, keep your elbows to your side, you're gonna stop halfway, use your core a lot, then inhale, upward facing down. Look to the tops of your feet, open your chest, your legs, you're gonna stay off the floor and pull your heart forward, then downward facing down. Curl your toes, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. So that's the whole thing. If you are like, screw that, I don't want to do that, <laughs> that's totally fine. But a great way to start to get there is to take it all from your knees. So when I cue chaturanga, you drop down to your knees, like you're going to do a push up from your knees. Your elbows still go back, stop halfway. Don't let your elbows go above your mid back. So pull, pull up towards the ceiling as you lower down, if that makes sense. And then go back to upward facing dog, still keep your legs off the floor, tops your feet on the floor. And then downward facing dog, curl your toes, lift your hands up. All right? That's the next option down. Third option, if that just doesn't sound great for you today, that's totally fine. Um, just hold a nice solid high plank. This is a fantastic option. I'll give your core a lot of work. Keep your gaze forward, shoulders over your hips. Push it in the back of your heels. This is just as hard. And this will just give you a little bit more core work and then you'll go right into downward facing down. Whew, it's always tiring. Okay, fantastic options. Use whatever ones you want during class. Um, but we will continue to move now for the next 50 minutes. All right, so we'll meet in downward facing dog. So curl your toes, lift your hips up, take a full breath in, open mouth, exhale. Now seal your lips, take a Ujjayi breath in, and breath out. Nice job, we'll blow stomach two more times, inhale, look forward, exhale forward, fold, step to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift, and remember, hands to shins or thighs to have a nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold, hinge on your hips, hands back to the floor. Inhale, mountain pose, press down into your feet, reach your arms up, relax your shoulders. Exhale, baby back bend, go close your arms, you can pull your hands towards your chest. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms back up. Exhale, forward fold, option to bend your knees, bring your hands back to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins. Exhale, shot around, remember your options. Great action, come down to your knees, point your elbows straight back, stop at your mid back. Inhale, up dog, keep your legs off the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. Curl your toes, lift your hips straight up towards the ceiling. Beautiful job, we'll take two breaths, full breath in. And breath out. Good job, one more breath in. Breath out. We'll fold that one more time, inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward, fold, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward, fold, hang down your hips. Last time, inhale, mountain pose, press down into your feet, reach your arms up. Exhale, back bend, go close your arms, pull your heart forward. Awesome job, inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up, relax your shoulders. Exhale, forward fold, bring your hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, squeeze your shoulder blades, gaze at the top of your space. Exhale, trot around, go plant your hands, I'll do the full one here. Shift forward, bend back, stop halfway. Inhale, up dog, keep your legs off the floor. Exhale, downward facing down. Curl your toes, lift your hips up. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Beautiful job. Do one more just like that. Full breath in and a full breath out. Awesome job. All right, we'll move on. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Moving on, inhale, chair pose. This time, hips low, reach your arms up, and then just hold here and breathe. All right, so look at me. My knees are behind my toes. Press into the backs of your heels. Keep your chest lifted, and once you have all this, relax your shoulders and then sit low like you're in a chair. Press into your heels, press into your big toes to fire up your legs. Good job, take a full breath in. Exhale, airplane your arms, face your palms towards the floor, push your fingertips back. 
Inhale, mount, uh, chair pose. Reach your arms back up, press into your feet. Exhale, forward fold, bring your hands back to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, uh, flatten your back. Exhale, trot around, but remember your options. Option you to hold your high plank and keep your gaze forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, curl your toes. Lift your hips up, take a full breath in, and a full breath out. Good job. All right, inhale, reach your right toes straight up towards the ceiling. Exhale, low lunge, pat your back as you come forward, send your foot right in between your hands. Great job. Inhale, crest and lunge, you'll stand tall. Reach your arms up, and then just hold here and breathe. So side view here, we'll be here for a second. So your right knee, your front knee is over your front ankle. Push into your back foot. Great option here to bend your knee. Don't compromise the bend in your front knee. Turn your hips towards the front of your space. Relax your shoulders down your back. I'll do a frontal view. So all 10 toes forward. Relax your shoulders down your back. Good job. Take a full breath in. Then exhale, warrior two. Spin your back heel to the floor. Reach your arms out to a T and then hold here and breathe. Again, look at me. Your knee is over your ankle. Push into the back side of your back foot, really to engage your back leg. You want both legs working a lot here. And um, kind of act like my hand is pushing against your right knee towards the wall behind you. I wouldn't actually do that. But concept. You want both your legs working a lot and then shift your shoulders over your hips. Good job. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Good job. One more breath in. Exhale, extend inside angle. So reach your front arm forward and then down and then reach your arm up. So the tendency here is for all of us to like go right here. That's not really working anything and you're gonna strain your lower back. So you wanna reach more up towards the ceiling than you do towards the floor. Again, lightly put your arm on your knee, on your right leg, and then lift your chest towards the ceiling. So act like I'm pushing this top hand towards, the, towards you, like I'm gonna high five you and push it back. That's what I want you to be like. So lift your chest, take a full breath in, and a full breath out. Now inhale, reverse your warrior, back arm goes down, reach your front arm up and then hold here and breathe. So stay committed to the bend in your front knee. Still keep pushing into your back foot. Your legs should be feeling this by now. Still keep that lift in your chest and reach up. Take a full breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, so arms go forward. Take your time, bend your knee. Remember your options here. If you're doing chaturanga, bend your elbow straight back. We'll meet in down dog. I forgot to tell you how to breathe there, but you know. <laughs> full breath in, full breath out. All right, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Inhale, reach your left toes high. Exhale, low lunge. Pat your back as you come forward. Step your foot in between your hands. Nice long base with your feet. Inhale, crescent lunge. Keep your front knee over your front ankle. Arms go up, hold here and breathe. Again, both legs are working a lot here, so keep your front knee over your front ankle. Push into your back foot. I'll turn forward. Relax your shoulders down your back. Your feet should be in two separate lanes. So relax your shoulders, gaze forward. Beautiful job, take a full breath in. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down, reach your arms out to a T, and then hold here and breathe. Again, push into your back foot. Keep your front knee over your front ankle. Act like my hand is pushing your knee back, but it's not actually pushing it back. Just keep your knee over your ankle. Press into both your big toes. If, if you're right here, Pull your shoulders over your hips so you're in one straight line. Full breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach your front arm forward and down. Reach your back arm up and then hold. Again, reach more towards the ceiling than you are towards the floor. Kind of like you're pulling a rope up from that's attached to the floor. All right? Keep your chest up. Still keep pressing into your heels and your big toes to engage your legs. Your gaze can go wherever you would like as long as your chest is lifted. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good job, inhale, reverse warrior. Press into your feet, keep your legs how they are. Switch your arms, hold here and breathe. Don't really use this back arm, little to no weight. Still keep pressing into your feet. Keep your chest lifted towards the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, arms go forward. Again, remember your options. You can hold your high plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Curl your toes, lift your hips. Beautiful job, take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Good job, all right. We're gonna fold that two more times, a little bit faster. So inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward, fold top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back, hands go wherever you would like. Exhale, forward, fold, hinge at your hips. Inhale, chair pose, sink your hips low, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, airplane your arms, face your palms towards the floor, engage your triceps. Inhale, chair pose, stay low in your legs, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. 
Exhale forward fold, bring your hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back, gaze forward. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands, step back, knees are a good option, bend your elbows straight back. Inhale, upward facing dog, open your chest. Exhale, down dog. Curl your toes, lift your hips up, take a full breath in, and a full breath out. One more full breath in, and breath out. All right, right side, inhale, reach your right toes high towards the ceiling. Exhale, low lunge, take your time, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise to stand, reach your arms up, press into your big toes. Then exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down, reach your arms up to a T, knee over your ankle, full breath in. Exhale, extended side angle, reach your front arm forward, back arm up, open your chest. Inhale, reverse warrior, keep your legs how they are, switch your arms, reach your arm up. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands, option here to hold a high plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift your chest, press into your palms. Exhale, downward facing dog, curl your toes, lift your hips high. Take a full breath in and full breath out. Other side, inhale, reach your left toes high towards the ceiling. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between your hands, take your time. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach your arms towards the ceiling, relax your shoulders. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel to the floor. Your back foot toes are towards the front. Reach your arms out to a T, full breath in. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward. Don't compromise the lift in your chest, reach up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reverse warrior, press into your feet, keep your legs how they are, reach up. Exhale, chaturanga, optional, hold high plank, or go from your knees. Beautiful effort. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do that one more time, we'll add one thing on. Take a full breath in, and full breath out. One more full breath in. Exhale, fully. Good job. Adding on inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of your space, take your time. Inhale, halfway lift, flat your back, gaze forward. Exhale, fold forward. All right, inhale, chair pose this time. Hips slow, reach your arms towards the ceiling. Exhale, prayer twist. You're gonna bring your hands to your chest. Get a little bit low in your legs, and then the goal here, your left elbow is gonna go to the outside of your right knee. So you're gonna twist, watch me, twist here, and then sit low like you're in a chair. If this is like, absolutely not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, you can bring your left elbow uh, to the middle of your legs, but I w or you can widen your feet here. That could help a lot. I don't want your knees to go above your toes, so I want you to shift your weight back like you're about to sit in a chair behind you. Press into your heels. Try and keep your toes off the floor, all right? Gaze can go down at the floor. You can look to the side. Press into your hands a lot. Again, shift your weight towards the back of the room. Option again, widen your feet. Hold here, breathe. Now come back to that breath. Come back to your intention. Keep breathing. Good job, you're here for three. Release hands to the floor in two. And one, nice job. Release your hands, widen your feet. Um, Tadahasasana, so hands to feet pose. So you're gonna lift your toes off the floor and slide your hands of your feet. Now, I don't really like this one because I have tight hamstrings. So another good option, you can grab your big toes with your peace fingers. You can bend your knees a lot here. Just try and melt your chest towards your thighs. Really just do any exercise that allows your chest to be on your thighs and your head to be behind you. You can move around. Give your low back a little release. Move side to side. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. All right, release your hands, toe heels, your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins, gaze forward. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands, step your feet back, flow it out. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips go up, take a full breath in, full breath out. We'll flow the right side, inhale, reach your right toes high towards the ceiling. Exhale, full lunge, step your foot between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach your arms up, engage your core. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down. Reach your arms out to a T, full breath in. Exhale, warrior two, or er, <laughs> extended side angle, whoops. Reach your arm up and your bottom arm down. Inhale, reverse your warrior, press into your feet, keep your legs how they are, switch your arms. Exhale, chaturanga, hands go down, step your foot back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, nice job. Other side, inhale, reach your left toes high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between your hands. Oh, I did this wrong. 
Inhale, reach your left toes high. Exhale, downward facing dog. We have to do chair pose again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose this time. Hips low, reach your arms up. All right, and then exhale, prayer twist. So bring your hands to the floor, and then we'll go to the other side this time. So reach your right elbow outside your left knee this time. Again, focus on your legs. If you need to widen them, that's fine. Keep your gaze down or up. Really press into your palms. Think of extended side angle, so lift your chest towards the ceiling. And again, sink low on your legs like you're in a chair. Option to put your right elbow in between your knee. If you need to, widen your feet a little bit and just rest your elbow on your right leg. Nice job. Lift your chest, squeeze your shoulders. Gaze goes wherever you'd like. Beautiful job, you're here for three. Release to a forward fold into and one. Nice job, forward fold. Same thing here, big toes. You can grab those with your peace fingers or um, forward fold. Or hands under your feet, whatever you need. So I side to side. You got it. Nice job. Feel a nice release in your low back, nice stretch in your hamstrings. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Nice job. Release your hands wherever they are, toe heel your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten your back, gaze forward. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands. Remember your options. Inhale, upward facing dog, keep your legs off the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. Curl your toes, lift your hips up. Take a full breath in and full breath out. Last side, inhale, reach your left toes high. Exhale, low lunge, cat your back as you come forward. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down, reach your arms out to a T. Take a full breath in. Exhale, extend inside angle, reach your forearm forward, back arm up, keep the lift in your chest. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach your arms straight up. Exhale, chaturanga, hands go down, step your foot back. Inhale, upward facing dog, open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Curl your toes, lift your hips up. Take a full breath in and full breath out. One more just like that, full breath in and a full breath out. Awesome job. Come on down to your knees. Good job. Woo. Core is next. So grab water, lay on the floor. All right, so Supta Baddha Konasana sit-ups. Bring the soles of your feet to touch, knees go wide. Uh, this is what you'll look like when you lay on the floor, so I'll lay to the side. If that's really uncomfortable for your hips, just have your feet on the floor like you're doing a basic crunch. So hands behind your head, lift your head up and down. So your low back stays on the floor, keep your elbows wide, lift, chin off your chest, you got it, exhale, lower, lift. If you want a little bit more, lift your feet off the floor and try and keep your shoulders off the floor as well. Keep your elbows wide. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. So exhale, inhale. Again, open mouth, exhale is a really good way to release some heat. Lift, lower, eight more, just eight, seven. You gotta keep going, six. Chin off your chest, five, four. Press into your feet, three. Take a long body stretch, two. And one, nice job. Take a long body stretch, legs long, arms long, full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Nice job. All right, bicycle twister next. So bend your knees, bring your knees over your hips. Hands stay behind your head. So as you twist to the right, your left leg goes long. Cover it over the floor, then you switch sides and do the same thing on the other side. So twist to the left, your right leg goes over the floor. Twist right, go center, then twist left. Exhale, twist. So option for you can keep this slow. So a lot of times that's harder. Or speed this up, go left. To right, exhale, twist. Now stop your knees at your hips. Option, you can just keep your arms down and just move your legs. Exhale, just make sure you stop your knees at your hips. You got it, eight, seven. Nice job, keep going, six, five. Chin off your chest, you can do it, four, three. Long body stretch, two, you got this. In one, nice job, rock and roll up to a seat. All right, both poses next. I may have said long body stretch, so take a long body stretch first. All right, both poses next. So both poses, I'll face the side. So your feet are out in front of you, sit on your butt. So 
be a decent amount away from your body. So option to stay here in both pose. Just make sure your chest is lifted, your shoulders are together. Just lean back enough where you feel this in your core, but not enough where you're hunched over. You want to pull your chest up and then lean back. Option, feet on the feet are off the floor. You can straighten your legs if you want. So you can keep your hands at your chest. You can reach your arms up. Another good option. You can put your hands behind you for a little more stability. If you want, move your legs a little bit farther away from you. Just keep that lift in your chest. You've got this just for eight. Keep breathing. Seven. Option to not do this. Six. Five. Chin up your chest. Chest up. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Chaturanga. Two. In a one. Nice job. Cross your ankles. Plant your hands. Find your way. Two. Down dog. Nice job. Pedal out your feet. Take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Woo. Nice job, full breath in. And a full breath out. Great job. All right, come on down to your knees. Grab some water. All right, so balancing is next. Now, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. All right, inhale, chair pose. Sink your hips low, reach your arms up, moving into balancing. Exhale, eagle pose on the right. So listen, swing your right arm under your left, so your elbows cross. Bring your palms to touch. If this is too much, grab your shoulders. This is a great option. Now, once you have your arms wherever you would like, sink a little bit lower in your legs. Lift your right leg up and bring your right leg over your left knee. And then I want you to hold. So side view, you're right here. So some people can go for the wrap around the ankle. That's like not even possible for me. So I'm just gonna let my left leg hang. So again, try and push your hips back. Keep your elbows in line with your shoulders, and but still pull them down. Press into your palms. Keep your gaze far and in front of you. Point your right toes. Now don't forget about your core. Engage your core. Find a focal point in front of you. Squeeze your arms together. Now, really focus on your left foot. Press into your left heel and your left big toe. That'll help with balance. Keep your gaze forward. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Lift your chest up. Nice job. Keep breathing. Keep holding. Full breath in. Full breath out. You're here for three. Release the chair pose in two. In one. Nice job. Unravel slowly, slowly. All right. Inhale, chair pose. Reach your arms up. Exhale, eagle on the left. So swing your left arm underneath your right. Same thing. Grab your um, hands to touch. Option. Shoulders. Great option. Wherever you are, elbows in line with your shoulders. Sink low like you're in a chair. Lift your left leg up. Bring your left leg over your right. Hold. So press your palms together. Side. This is very unsafe. All right. Now lift your chest towards the ceiling. Notice my back is flat. Keep your elbows in line with your shoulders. Point your left toes towards the floor. Now focus on your right foot. Push your right foot into the floor. Press your right big toe into the floor. Pull your elbows down, but keep them in line with your shoulders. Now engage your core. Keep your gaze forward, keep breathing. Full breath in, full breath out. You're here for three. Release to mountain pose in two. In one, nice job, mountain pose. So inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, dancer's pose. Bring your right elbow to your right side, take your palm up. Now bend your right leg. So all the weight's gonna go on your left leg. Um, you can keep your arm up, put it down, whatever. Um, okay, so without changing the orientation of your arm, so your arm is like this, okay? Palm up. You're gonna bend your knee. I'll do it closer. Bend your knee. Don't change the orientation. Grab the inside, the inside of your left foot, okay? All right, once you're there, now reach your left arm back up. Take a full breath in. Exhale, start to kick your foot into your hand without your chest going forward, okay? Kick as much as you can. Option here, you can grab your shin, okay? Focus on your left foot, left foot. So kick back, keep your hips square to the front. Keep reaching. Once you can't kick enough, then start to lift your chest. So the goal here, you kind of want to make a U with your body. All right, U with your body. So lift your chest up as you kick back. Keep your hips towards the front. So keep reaching, keep kicking. If you need to, you can bend your left leg a little bit. Press into your left heel. Keep your chest up, keep your gaze forward. Lift your chest as you kick back. You're here for three. Release his mountain pose into and one. Slowly come out of the kick. Nice job. Foot goes down. Inhale, reach your arms up. 
Exhale, dancers on the left. So same thing, arm can go down for a second. Palm faces the ceiling, left elbow to your side. All the weight goes in your right foot this time. Again, palm up to your side, bend your left leg, grab the inside without changing the orientation of your hand, okay? Good job. All right, I'll go this way. Okay, so focus on your right foot. Keep your chest lifted. Whenever you're ready, start to kick into your hand. Your arm will go up as well, forgot about that. All right, focus on your right foot, push into your right heel and your right big toe. So to kick your foot into your hand. And your chest will naturally go forward. So try and lift it up towards the ceiling. It'll still go forward. Kick your foot into your hands. Keep your hips towards the front of the room. Find that lift in your chest. Bend your knees as much as you need to. You got it. Keep breathing. Keep pressing in your right toe and your right heel. Lift your chest. Keep breathing. Beautiful job. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Keep staying. You're here for three. Mountain pose in two. And one, awesome job, take your time, come on out. Beautiful job, both feet down. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, bring your hands to your chest. Take a full breath in, full breath out. All right, we got one more, tree pose. So with tree pose, weights in your left leg to start. Take your right leg, you can put your right foot on your calf or your inner thigh. Please do not put it on your knee, that'll hurt your knee joint. All right, so I'm gonna go on my inner thigh. Great option to go on your calf. So press into your left big toe. Hands can come to your chest. Uh, keep your knees far in front of you. So again, find a focal point that you've been using for the last two postures. Really press into your left foot. If you want, you can close your eyes. That's very hard. If you want, reach your arms up. If you reach up, relax your shoulders. Engage your low belly so your back is nice and flat and you protect your low back. Beautiful job. Keep breathing. Enjoy the jazzy tunes. Relax your shoulders, you're doing awesome. Keep breathing. Press into your left big toe. You're here for three. Release, mountain pose, in two. And one, now listen, bring your hands down. If they're up, turn your right knee forward and then bring your right foot down. Good job, pedal out your feet. Other side, all right, we're almost done. Left foot up, you can put your left foot on your calf or on your inner thigh. All right, just avoid your knee, please. Open your knee to the side. Again, find a focal point, engage your core. Try to slow down your breath. Okay, good job. Again, hands can go up if you want. Relax your shoulders, engage your core. Keep your gaze forward. You can play with your gaze if you want. Maybe hold your neighbor's hand if you have one. Good job. Keep breathing. Oh no. Keep breathing. Full breath in. Full breath out. You're here for three. Release mountain pose in two. And one, nice job. Knee goes forward, put your foot down. We'll flow, one sunny. Good job, pedal out your feet. Inhale, mountain pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, back bend. Press into the back of your heels. Do whatever you want with your hands. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, bring your hands to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, draw your gaze forward. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands, step your feet back. Option to skip this and just do high plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, curl your toes, lift your hips up. Take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Beautiful job. All right, we're gonna flow. A full breath in and full breath out. Nice job, inhale, reach your right toes high towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower your left leg, bring your right foot up between your hands. And then uh, listen here, so inhale, warrior one, spin your back heel to the floor. Um, kind of have your toes pointed out to the left. And then stand up, warrior one. So reach your arms up and then hold here, breathe. So I'm facing the front. So your feet will be kind of wide. Again, your toes are kind of going this way. It's a little bit awkward. So if you need to um, widen the distance of your feet, keep your front knee over your front ankle, reach your arms up, relax your shoulders, and then just hold here. It's a little bit of an awkward one. So if it honestly, if it feels better, just hold your crescent lunge. Relax your shoulders. Awesome job. Take a full breath in. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down, find heel to arch alignment in your feet, reach your arms up to a T, take a full breath in, full breath out. All right, now straighten your front leg, full breath in, exhale, triangle pose, reach your front arm forward and your back arm up and then fold. So this is just like an extended side angle, except your, um, your legs are straight. So push, um, open your chest, reach more towards the ceiling than you do towards the floor. Press into your feet. Again, if you need to, you can bend your front knee a little bit to help you get a little bit more towards the floor. Just keep that lift in your chest. Full breath in. 
full breath out. Nice job, inhale, star pose, straighten your arms, straighten your legs. Exhale, horse pose, heels in, toes out, bring your hands down. Bring your hands to your thighs, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, twist to the right, so press into your knees, twist to the right. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to the left, so gaze forward, keep your chest lifted. Do this one more time, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, go to the right. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, go to the other side. Nice job. Then you'll hold your horse pose, bring your hands to your chest. Now sink low. If you want, you can hold right here. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can come to your tiptoes and lift your heels off the floor and reach your arms up towards the ceiling. This is just an option. We've done a lot of balancing. So option here to hold, hands at your chest, hold three. Start posing two. And one, nice job, heels down. Inhale, star pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior two to the front, reach your arm up. Now listen, inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach your arm up, just like reverse warrior, but straighten your leg. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands, step your foot back. Good job, inhale, upward facing dog, open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, curl your toes, lift your hips up. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Nice job, we'll do the other side. Inhale, reach your left toes high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between your hands. Same thing, warrior one, so spin your back heel to the floor, and then once you feel comfortable there, lift your chest up towards the ceiling, like crescent lunge and hold. So again, this side could feel a little different, so you might be a little closer, you might be a little wider with your stance, that's fine. So press into your big toes, keep your front knee over your front ankle, relax your shoulders. Awesome job. Try and keep your right hip towards the front of the room. Try not to let your knee go out to the left. Keep it forward. Good job, relax your shoulders. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Good job, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, spin your, uh, get your feet kind of back together. It might be a little not cute. All right, <laughs> front knee over your front ankle. Warrior two, full breath in. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Triangle pose, reach your front arm forward, reach your back arm up and then hold. So for me, this side's a little different, so I need to bend my knee a little bit. Just keep that lift in your chest. Really press into your back foot. Find that lift in your chest, play with your gaze. Open your chest towards the side. Press into your heels, press into your big toes. Beautiful job. Full breath in, full breath out. Good job, inhale, star pose, straighten your legs parallel, your feet reach your arms up. Exhale, horse pose, heels in, toes out. Let's flow that three more times, inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse pose, heels in, toes out. One more, inhale, star pose. Exhale, horse pose. All right, let's do the same thing. You can hold your horse pose here. If you want, come to your tiptoes, reach your arms up, sink low in your legs, relax your shoulders. Beautiful job. Find that tuck in your belly button. Great place to be is to just hold your horse. This is a big thing in sculpt, so yay. Hold your horse. Nice job. You're here for three. Release, start posing two. And one, nice job. Inhale, start pose. Exhale, warrior two to the front of the room, bend your knee. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach your arm up. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands, step your feet back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take up two breaths together, full breath in. Ujjayi breath out. Full breath in. Ujjayi breath out. All right, we're gonna flow that breath to movement. Inhale, reach your right toes high. Exhale, low lunge, cat your back as you come forward. Beautiful job. Inhale, warrior one, spin your back heel down. Press into your feet as you reach up, relax your shoulders. Full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. All right, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down, reach your arms out to a T. Full breath in. Exhale, triangle pose, straighten your front leg, reach your arm forward and up. Inhale, star pose, straighten your arms. Exhale, horse pose, heels in, toes out. Inhale, star pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior two to the front of the room. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg. Exhale, chaturanga, plant your hands. Option to hold the head plate, you're almost there. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, reach your left toes high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between your hands. Warrior one, spin your back heel down, inhale, reach your arms up, press into your feet. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back heel down, reach your arms out, full breath in. Exhale, triangle pose, straighten your front leg, reach your arm forward and up, open your chest. Inhale, star pose, straighten your arms, straighten your legs. Exhale, horse pose, heels in, toes out. Inhale, star pose, reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior two to the front of the room. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach your arm up. Exhale, high to low plank, plant your hands. Step your feet back, go at your own pace. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Good job. Full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. One more full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. All right. Inhale, shift forward. High plane pose. High plane pose. Exhale, lower all the way down to your back or belly. Sorry. All the way down to your belly. All right. We're doing some spine strengthening. So I'm going to face the side. I hope you can see me. Okay. So um, cobra poses first. So your legs are gonna to come together. You're gonna to press the tops of your feet into the floor. Your hands are gonna be directly under your shoulders. Now keep your gaze forward. All right, hands are, yes, right under your shoulders, gaze forward. Pin your elbows together behind you, so kind of push them together, even though you can't actually because of your back. So press a lot into the tops of your feet. Take a full breath in. Exhale, just lift your chest off the floor. Keep your legs, keep your hands and your feet on the floor. So really press into your feet, but barely press into your hands. So there's little to no weight in your hands. If anything, just come on your fingertips. Keep your gaze forward. Squeeze your elbows together. You'll feel this in your low back. You're here for three. Release down in two and one. Awesome job. Put your chin to the floor. Look to the right. So put your left ear to the floor. Let everything relax. Your heart rate may be up a little bit. Just notice your breath. Observe how you feel. Try and find a normal pace of breath. Maybe close your eyes here. But again, left ear on the floor, gaze to the right. Let your arms and legs kind of go to the side. Right, come back to center. We'll do something else. Option to do another set of cobra if you try this out and you're like, no thanks. All right, so bow pose. You're gonna bend your knees, bring your heels towards your butt. You're gonna take your arms and grab the outsides, the outsides of your feet. So your knees are hip-width distance apart. You can grab your ankles too or your shins if that feels better. So um, grab your feet, look down at the floor, take a full breath in. Exhale, lift your head and chest, look forward this time, kick your feet into your hands, try and shift your weight a little bit more back. You might need to teeter-totter a little bit, but keep your chest lifted. Squeeze your knees together, lift up towards the ceiling, chin off your chest, take a full breath in. Exhale, release everything down to the floor. Good job. Chin goes down and then look to the left. So your right ear is on the floor this time. Let your uh, feet and your hands just go to the side. All right, come back to center. Place your hands under your shoulders and then I just want you to sit up. Sit up. Okay, so you're gonna come to stand on your knees. Look forward, your hands are gonna come to your low back, all 10 fingers towards the floor. So squeeze your elbows together like you kind of did in Cobra. This is camel pose. So gaze forward to start, place your hands on your low back, lightly pushing your back, take a full breath in. Then exhale, start to trace your gaze towards the ceiling and then your weight will naturally start to shift back. So kind of pressing the tops of your feet and lean back just a little bit, not too much. Squeeze your elbows together, Keep drawing your gaze towards the back. Keep leaning back lightly. You'll feel this in your low back. Your chest will lift as your head goes back. Squeeze your elbows together. Keep leaning back but resisting it a little bit. Beautiful job. Take a full breath in. Exhale, release. Slowly trace your gaze back up. Come on down to the floor. Bring your hands to your quads. Whew. And just breathe. Close your eyes. Beautiful work. Take a full breath in. And full breath out. One more full breath in. And breath out. All right. Come to your butt. We're almost done. All right. So butt on the floor. Bridge pose is next. So lay on the floor. All right. Ankles directly under your knees. Feet hip distance apart. Hands go on the floor. Little bit of glue. We'll do uh, three rounds. So press into your feet. Take a full breath in. Exhale. Lift your hips towards the ceiling. Now press into your feet. I like to do a chest expansion under my hips. Just give my arms a little extra stretch, but you don't need to do that. If you have a block and this feels like a lot or something to like rest on, that's a great option. Press into your big toe and your heels. Lift your hips towards the ceiling. Feel this a lot in your glutes. Keep your gaze at the ceiling. Press your shoulders into the floor. Take a full breath in. And full breath out, release back to the floor, release your right hand, sweep your body kanasana to rest. Soles of your feet to touch. You can place one hand on your heart, one on your belly. We'll take two breaths together, full breath in. 
Full breath out. One more full breath in. And breath out. All right, two more rounds. Bridge pose. Feet under, uh, ankles under your knees, hands on the floor, full breath in. Exhale, peel your hips off the floor, lift them towards the ceiling again, same thing. Press into your heels, press into your big toes, push your shoulders into the floor. Full breath in, full breath out. All right, release your hands if you have it. Same thing, sweep the bottom canasana just for a second. Hands can go wherever you like, full breath in. Full breath out. One more full breath in. Full breath out. All right, one more round. You can do it. Feet down. All right, hands on the floor. Full breath in. Exhale, lift your hips off the floor. Last set. Try to get as high as you can. Press into your heels and drag them back. Press into your big toes to engage your inner thighs. Press your shoulders down. This is your last big thing will work. Lift your hips as high as you can. Okay, close your eyes here if you want. Just keep breathing. You're here for three. Release all the way down into and one. Beautiful job. Release down. Do whatever you want. Maybe bring your knees to touch. Let your uh, feet go mat with distance apart. So knees to touch. Feet at the outside of your mat. Full breath in. Full breath out. One more. Full breath in. Full breath out. All right. Bring your knees together. Just kind of move them side to side. So turn your whole back. All right, final stretch, super high pigeon. I think beginners should all start on their back. So let's just do this from our back. Uh, so bring your heels towards your glutes like you just did in bridge. Right ankle goes up, or right foot goes up, right ankle over your left knee. Now this can be a great stretch already for your hips. So you can keep your left foot on the floor if that's enough. If you want more, lift your left leg off the floor. Interlace your fingers behind your legs, flex both your feet to protect your knees, and then just throw the left next to your shoulders up your back. Feel a nice stretch in your hips. If you want, you can move a little side to side. You'll be here for a few seconds. So let it feel good. Again, the option, you can always put your left foot back on the floor. But again, flex both your feet to protect your knees. And then just start to feel your body slow down. Take a full breath in and breath out. All right, release back, shake out your legs. So you'll switch sides this time. So left foot goes up, bring your left ankle over your right knee. And then your right foot can stay on the floor if this is enough stretch. If you want more, interlace your fingers behind your legs, pull your legs towards you. Flex both your feet to protect your knees. And just start to slow down. The closer you pull your knees towards you, the more you'll feel it in your hips. And just start to feel your breath. Notice how you feel and observe. Come back to center. Shake out your legs. Happy baby, so bend your knees. Grab any part of your feet. So, you know, be a happy baby. <laughs> Move side to side. You can bend your knees a lot. You can also grab your knees if that's a little more accessible. Just move side to side. Massage out your little back. This should feel good. Last thing, supine twist, let your left leg go long, pull your right knee into your chest. So once your left leg is on the floor, inhale, pull your right knee in. Exhale, draw your right knee across your left side body. So twist over to the right. No, this is easier if I face the front. So pull your knee over and then draw your right knee across your left side body. Twist, uh, you might not get all the way to the floor, but uh, just twist and over your shoulders to stay on the floor. I want both your shoulder blades glued to the floor like you're about to sleep. Okay, listen to your body. Your gaze can go up or to the right, whatever feels good for your neck. Get a nice stretch in your glutes. You can use your left.
left hand to support your knee over just a little bit. Take a full breath in, find the heart. Exhale, get a little bit deeper. Nice job. Come back to center. Take out your legs. Alright. Left side. So right knee goes long. Inhale, pull your left knee into your chest. Exhale, draw your left knee across your right side body. Gaze up or to the left. Again, just twist and upper your shoulders, stay on the floor. Gaze up or to the left. And whenever you're ready, come back to the center. Bring both your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees. So let your body fully rest. Get out of any fidgets you may have. Just let your body start to uh, reap the rewards of all your hard work. Let your breath slow down. Let your mind slow down. And before you have to get back to anything the rest of your day, just give yourself this time here to do absolutely nothing, to be still and to breathe. Know that you're welcome to stay in this resting place um, as long as you would like to. But if you're ready to move on with the rest of your day, whatever that means for you, um, just start to move your body around, whatever way feels good. Just find some movement, whatever parts of your body need it. Move your head side to side. And then in your own time, you're gonna roll onto a fetal position. So you're gonna roll onto your side so roll onto a side, use your bicep as a pillow, so rest your head on your um, arm and then draw your knees towards your face, just kind of like you're waking up. And then come up to a seat facing the front, keeping your eyes closed. And then once you get there, bring your hands to wherever feels good. It could be your chest, or your third eye center, whatever you'd like. Just keep your eyes closed. Thank you so much for sharing your time, your energy, your hard work, your intentions for this um, with me and with anyone that's with you. And thank you for just taking some time for yourself to be healthy and keep yourself sane during this time. And hopefully this workout brought you some calm. Uh, we bow our head forward to seal in this practice. Namaste. Yay, good job. Okay, <laughs> I hope that went well. Um, I hope everything kind of made sense. Um, I think this is a fantastic um, introduction to um, any yoga class that you will do moving forward.
I try to go slow, but again, my natural instinct is yoga sculpt and that's what I teach, so I tend to go really fast. Um, but watch this as many times as you want. Hopefully um, you enjoyed it. Again, the playlist will be in the bottom if you want to try this again um, and need the music or you just want to use the music um, for any of your other yoga classes that you might do. Um, but yes, thank you so much for watching this. Um, hopefully it was helpful and you feel nice and loose after that. Um, thank you. Try out the other videos if this went really well for you. Bye. Oh, shoot.